and then in I was about 18 at the time and uh, I wanted to make a, a tune you know so I don't know if you remember um, Suzanne Vega Tom's Diner I don't know yeah if you know that I remember that yeah 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 <laughs> I do. So that was like, you know that used to be on my Walkman when I used to go to school um, so I used to just that was one of the many tunes that I used to listen to on tapes and then like you know copy the same tune over and over again yeah. and just have a cassette playing backwards you know <laughs> I was like that at school, and then listen to my Walkman, and I like I used to. I remember listening to that tune in the uh, in the playground as a kid, and then when I got to like eighteen, like, so I was into the to the garage then, and I was just like, you know, I want to remix that tune. I want to remix that tune, and then uh, I had a couple of pals at the time who knew someone with a recording studio down in Mill Hill. It was at that time, and um, we went to the studio, and I had this idea for this this you know this tune with it. Suzanne Vega and we remixed it and um you know um it was a massive hit you know wow and so that at the age of 18 I mean we got um we got done on our contracts and stuff I was 18 you know (laughs) (laughs) we we sold a hell of a lot of vinyl you know and if we if we if we were cleverer we would you know it was a very big tune it's called um Lost in Vegas by Some Treat, and that was Some Treat was us. It was just like a jumble of our of our names. And then there was a the producer was she was called Angel Farrington, and um, she pushed all the buttons and stuff. You know, at that time, you know, studios were much rarer. You didn't have like what you got today. Do you know what I mean? Where you just everyone's got a studio. You know, you could start making music. And in those days, it was like, it was so much rarer, you know what I mean? So you yeah, had to yeah. have the samplers and the Taris and the, you know, and the desks yeah. and all this sort of game and all the MIDI backwards and forwards, you know? Um, and so it was a little bit more normal then for someone like me who wasn't a producer to have an idea and go in and literally say, you know, I want this sound and I want this beat and I want this and that. And it was more of the done thing then. And, and yeah, it, it, it became um, it became a huge garage kind of anthem, and it was just an amazing buzz, you know. To yeah. I like literally that summer. I just remember, like, oh, the, the, I remember the, the the moment where it kind of all just was like what to me. <laughs> so like the tune had gone out, yeah, it had gone mm-hmm. out on this label called Johnny Biscuit Records, and it had gone out, and. Um, you know, and that was it. It was out. And we was like, okay, the tune's out. Da, 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 da. I was at a party one night, and it was, I was like, literally like 18. I was at a party, and uh, I was outside, and then this car pulled up, and all I could hear was just this, like, bass <laughs> <laughs> line that was just like, what is that? You know what yeah. I mean? It was just the nut. You know, it was just what the hell. I went over to the car, and as they wound down the window, I could hear the treble now, and that's like, oh my god, that's our tune. <laughs> yes, you know, my mate had done the bass line. The bass is just amazing. It was just like bang on, like, and it was like that's our tune. And it was just that <laughs> whole summer from then. The tune every time I turned on the because it was pirate radio then, you know. So, yeah. was, so every time I turned on, it was just our tune was just every, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> You mentioned as an 18 year old, you know? So that was kind of like my, and then I still DJ now, you know, I, I still collect vinyl. I play vinyl, um, two techniques and a mixer, bang, old school, like mm. raw. I still collect vinyl as well. So yeah, that was my journey into music. And obviously I've done nice. a lot of stuff on the way through then, a bit of production, a bit of this and that and whatever. But yeah, that's that's like my journey as a, as a 14, 15 year old raver sneaking into the club. Um, and uh, yeah, that was my journey into music, man. Amazing, man. Like after, <laughs> after, <laughs> seek, after that first track though, like you released, but what happened next? Yeah. Did I release more tracks I, after that or? No, no, I didn't. I, and that's why I'm very passionate about what I do now, you mm. know, because I just didn't have, even after that, it was like, I don't know. I just didn't have the kind of the belief and the, you know, at that age, you know, I, I just didn't have that kind of 
wanting to push it and wanting to, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I think I've, I've gained that later on in life, mm. uh, that kind of skill. Um, but yeah, at the time I just, it, it kind of stems back again, it, it coming back to the, the sound school thing and why I'm so passionate about it. It's like, because I kind of got pushed away from all that stuff as a kid. You know, you, oh, you need to get a proper job. You know, it's not, you know, it's not so, you know, it kind of, um, that's another reason why I'm so passionate about supporting young people on their, on their music journey, because myself, I was kind of, do you understand what I mean? It yeah, wasn't yeah, like fully supported by family and, and whatever and things like that. And, and, and these things, you know, they have an effect on us when people close to us, you know, I think we're born with this inherent thing that we want our mum and dad to, you know, love what we do and feel proud. You know, I think we're just designed like that. And that's what I was looking for. And I wasn't quite getting it. And I think, you know, and again, and so that's why I'm one of the, 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 the reasons why I'm so passionate mm. about sound school now, you know, Amazing, giving man. that place to say, you know what, this is what you want to do. Come here and we will support you. You know, yeah. and we'll be fully behind you. Do, do you know what I mean? Of course, man. Like even with it, even with the success of that single, were the family still staying like get a proper job as well or? Which yeah. it means slightly supporting you in that journey. Yeah, no, it's, um, you know, there's a whole, you know, we've all got families and we've all yeah. got you know, stories about our families and things. Um, but yeah, no, I, no, it, you know, it just wasn't kind of supported and, oh. you know, um, kind of understandably in a way, because, you know, as parents, you know, they kind of want the best for you. I don't know. In those times, music wasn't, you know, uh, you know, when I was 15, I'm, 40, I'm 41 now. So you're talking like, well, 1998 when that record come out, you know, and I was 18. So, you know, even back in those times, music wasn't, you know what I mean? As, as sort of, in it's kind yeah, of, you know yeah. more front, the forefront of digital and everything now there's a hell of a lot more jobs and things in do you, do you see what i mean yeah, so yeah. understandably if you know what i mean but mm -hmm. i i'm just the opposite now with young people or family or anything or a, a, anything to do with doing what you want to do in life you know what mm -hmm. i mean i'm just a big backer of that yeah. now as opposed to, you know, because I ended up training to become an electrician, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, you know what I mean? And I got qualified and things like that um, and all that kind of thing. I mean, yeah, it's got nothing to do with me, but to do with my life now. But, you know, it, 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 it taught me some professional skills. Mm -hmm. But, you know, realistically, I was crying out to, to be a creative and I just don't even think I knew what a creative was when I was younger. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I think that a lot of kids don't know that and that's what I like to to show them, you know, mm. 